Thomas Vauclair kills two birds with one stone at the Frenchman, former Yellow Jersey last year, clinches both stage win and King of Mountain first place. The leaders maintain the balance of forces. After a well-deserved rest day, the peloton is back on the roads with the first true mountain stage in this 2012 Tour de France. The bunch will leave Macron and ride 194.5 kilometers to Bellegarde sur Valserine with three difficulties on the menu, of which the Grand Colombier Pass, an ore category climb that features for the first time in the route of the Tour. It takes about 50 kilometers before riders escape for the first time today. It starts with two, then seven, then 23, and at the end, 25 riders pedal along at the front. A large breakaway starring the man in the green jersey, Peter Sagan, Francis Thomas Vaucler, Germany's Jens Moit, Michael Morkov, who previously wore the polka dot jersey, and Michele Scarponi, the Italian, who is currently 27th at the general classification and the best ranked of all. He's only 10 minutes, 27 seconds behind Bradley Wiggins, the current leader. The troop has a more than seven-minute lead on the pack at the bottom of the main difficulty of the day, the Col du Grand Colombier, an ore category climb that promises to make some damage amongst the leaders. Michele Scarponi gives the impetus and the creaming off starts. Thomas Vaucler of Europe Car, Belgium, Dries de Venance and Spain's Wiesler and Sanchez are the only men who manage to follow the Italian's pace. Vaucler seems in great shape and tries to leave his companion several times unsuccessfully. Still, the Europe Car leader is the first to reach the top of the Grand Colombier and as a result takes the 25 points awarded for the King of Mountain classification, which makes him the new polka dot jersey rider. Behind, despite many attempts, Belgium's Jürgen van den Broek never manages to escape from the yellow jersey group in the last kilometers of the ascent. One man takes advantage of the descent to drum Bradley Wiggins, Cadel Evans and their companions. It's Vincenzo Nibali, force of a roll at the start this morning, 2 minutes 23 seconds behind the yellow jersey. Counting on his skills as a descender and on the help provided by his teammate Peter Sagan, Nibali makes a one minute gap. This dashing attempt is not rewarded as Nibali is caught back in the ascent of the last climb of the day, the Richemont Pass. In the front, the group of four is now a group of five as Jens Voigt bridges less than nine kilometers from the finish line. Devon Enns thinks he can run off for the win in the last two kilometers, but Thomas Vaucler thought otherwise. The Frenchman comes back and overtakes the Belgian, then manages to resist Carponi and Voigt's counter-attacks. He offers his country the second stage win of the Tour this year. No change at the overall standings. Wiggins remains in yellow.